hire detection technology that helps police get to scenes more quickly. Mayor Brandon Johnson announced plans to discontinue this program after the summer's Democratic convention, but a late push by members of council mm -hmm. to keep it on a ward by ward basis was up for a vote today. CBS 2 political reporter Chris Ties live in our newsroom with where things stand now. Chris. Jim and Marie, the vote just coming down in the last few minutes. It appears there may be some life for shot spotter after all. In a 34 14 vote, council saying they may want to overturn Mayor Johnson's decision to scrap shot spotter after the DNC here this summer. What's of note here, the mayor wants to end it, but his handpicked police superintendent does not. Supporters of shot spotter on council making the point today, if it's valuable enough to keep up over during the convention week here in Chicago, it should be important enough for residents who spend their whole lives here and that it helps police get to scenes, particularly in neighborhoods where residents don't like to call 911. Critics say the technology, which can't pre Dick crime, of course, hasn't led to a drop in gun crime in Chicago, calling it a poor way to spend city dollars and that the city needs to look for alternative technology that can make a dent. Until you come up with another way to do this, keep this tool going until we figure out something else. I am so disappointed in so many of you. I am disappointed. I had another mass shooting. I have to leave here and go to an operation for another mass shooting. One day out of the year, 450 shots. And you're telling me we don't need shot spotter? You're telling me this technology, we could do away with it? That doesn't make much sense to me. We're discussing a system that has been proven to be ineffective. More importantly, has not prevented gun shootings in our community. We haven't seen gun violence go down as a result of this system. So just before the vote that passed with overwhelming support that it cannot be vetoed by the mayor, by the way, shot spotter advocate Alderman Anthony Beal said this vote is strictly about getting more data, not about keeping or rejecting the technology. Mayor Johnson countered him right in real time, saying that's not entirely accurate. This is also about usage. So the next steps here are critical, but they're a bit unclear. A win, though, for those wanting the technology to remain and a loss for Mayor Johnson at City Hall today. Live in the newsroom, Chris Tide, CBS 2 News. Jim. Thank you for that explanation, Chris.